just to repeat, this is Thed on Arena. So you make cryptocurrency by ranking up. You can't pull out your cryptocurrency until you hit bronze one. So you actually have to get pretty decent at the game to get to bronze one because I'm having some challenges right now. And I'm only at private three. No, pri I'm not I'm in private. I'm a, I'm a recruit um, three right now. When you start the game, you get three free NFTs right off the bat for the play to earn game. You don't actually have to buy any, not like axes where you have to spend like 300 bucks to get into it. Um, you got Vienka. I got Vienka right, right on Steel Shot. This is a shotgun character that's a tank. Um, this is a shotgun character that's an assassin. This is a marksman launcher character. So the way the difference between all of them is that uh, they have each character has their own specific ability that ha that's embedded with the character itself. And they have two characters that come with uh, skills that you can buy, sell, trade, level, use the in-game currency to level up and everything. This is their in-game currency. This is the one. This isn't the crypto. This is a crypto right here, but you get them both in the game. These are a bunch of different game modes you can uh, be a part of. Um, I typically do battle royale just because it's really easy for me. But the other one's pretty fun as well. Um, these games last a maximum of five minutes. If you do a, a 4v4, it lasts a couple minutes. If you do a battle royale, it lasts maybe five minutes. Um, and it will give you, battle royale will give you scaling um, points to rank up based on how well you do. The difference between the two of them is battle royale. Instead of trying to find weapons and stuff, you have to find ex experience points to level up. Some give you higher damage, some give you higher um, ability scores, some give you, some have bombs in them that actually just damage you, some just have health pods, so it's, they're all different. It definitely depends on, um, definitely depends on your team. I usually don't do the duos, but I guess I have Capital. Oh, that's what my grandpa called me growing up, it's cool. Um, yeah, there's a bunch of bushes in the game, some people camp, some people don't. Same thing as a lot of battle rails. There's just a bunch of different strategies to implore. Um, the game's very simple to get into. I would say, like, any people who aren't even gamers could get into this. Um, just for the... Ooh. Just for the fact that it's a cryptocurrency and this guy's gonna die without me. Yep. He was the first blood. And I want to heal him. And I survived. Thank God. So I'm gonna save him real quick. I've actually never revived someone in this game before. I'm surprised I survived. Especially since I'm on stream level. So once you kill them, you can actually pick up their stuff. Um, it's just eight. It's just their skill stuff. So that's why I'm level 14. I saved him because he engaged. I don't even know how that worked out, but I'm not complaining. Um, but yeah, if you guys have any questions, if you guys want me to check out any projects, let me know. If you want me to look at your uh, stuff. There is a circle that closes in as well. You see the amount of teams left on the side. So we have five teams left. Uh, your cooldown is about 30 seconds per ability. So once you fight, you want to stay out of the fight for about 30 seconds. This guy has no idea what he's doing, I can tell just by the way he runs He runs around. But since he's a shotgun character, he has a lot more HP than me, and probably even more defense stats than I do. So even though that I am level 14 and he's level 5, uh, we probably have the same amount of skill, skill points right now, just because of the fact that, uh, just because of the fact that I ha have picked up, uh, like, attack. Oh, hold on. Yeah, this is not good. There we go, 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 and we win, and I died. Can you get me? Can you get me? Thank you. So we made that, and now we're both level 15. Um, it's all about supporting your teammates in the duos. I actually have never had a good duo before, and this guy's not great, but at least he has not left me to die. I'm level 24 now. Interesting. Um, this is pretty interesting. I have no abilities, and it looks like he has abilities, and he's going to go. Ooh, okay, yeah, we lost. We lost this 100%. Yeah, he's they're gonna be camping that and everyone everyone's targeting me at this point. Yeah, I, I could have I could have done anything at that point. Um we got third place, that's not bad at all. When this is uh Thetan Arena. So I'm gonna go ahead and just type in the chat real quick. Um let me see if I can get uh, a code a code for you guys. Thetan Arena. Let's go ahead and see if I can get a, a reference code. Referral code. Um yeah, there's a referral code. Let me go ahead and get that for you. Partner. Oh, that's the wrong thing. No, I guess there's no referral code that they're doing right now. So whatever, just go ahead and put that in there. Um, you get a certain amount of trophies based on your placement. I only got five trophies. 
That's why I, try, I like doing solos because I don't. I usually um kill get a lot more kills, scale up a lot faster rather than duos. So it is what it is. Uh, no worries. The biggest bro. Also, what's up, the biggest bro? Nice seeing you in the chat again. So yeah, this is uh, what it looks like to be in Thetson Arena, and they have a bunch of different modes to so check that all out. Um, I I actually like this game a lot. It's fun to play, and it's good to know that I'm actually generating cryptocurrency uh, by playing it. I'm unlocking it by leveling up and by ranking up. So I think you could pull out maybe a hundred bucks, something like that. And that's if you don't put the money back in the game, which I might do just to see like if I can get even more cryptocurrency by ranking up. Because part of the game is definitely having um, a good character. Because there's definitely different characters, and like there's thousands of characters and combinations. Even though some of them might be just skins, some of them are also com uh, genuinely like for utility. Oh, see, that's one of the bombs I was telling you guys about. Did literally uh, half my HP. I want a character like that where it's a long marksman and not just a... Like this guy that I have right here, he's a marksman, but he's not long range and he's not even that fast. So it's like a... I don't... It's a bad middle ground all around. I prefer the shotgun people to him, but he has such a good a, a, an innate ability. That's been working amazingly. Yeah. Okay, I just lost. I think I killed him too. So we just traded. And that's nothing. So I probably went down like 20. Oh, fifth place? Gee, that's sad. Oh, we lost 14. Yeah, so um, I'm going to show you uh, a 5v5. The second mode is always a 5v5 entirely. The 5v5s give you either, you either get 24 or you lose 24 uh, trophies. So you just gotta hope to get a good team. I never carry in this game, um, but I always definitely like, you know, hold my own. So it's really if the other three people get positive points. Um, Superstar is basically, you know, get, uh, there's the death count. There is Superstar where basically you have to hold like Oddball and Halo. Um, the death guild is basically uh, getting whoever can get the first to 50 kills or first to 25 positive kills. It's like tug of war with with kills. Whoever gets the first to 25 points wins, or whoever has the most points um, by the end of the match. And it's, look, it's only four minutes long, which is nothing. Um, and here to get XP, you either have to kill people or just open these crates and get the diamonds. So I'm just that's what I'm trying to do with this guy. But yeah, see, I shoot really slowly, so I got something at least. And I, okay, so I'm on level two. Let's see if I can keep this up. Do, do, do. Alright. Yeah, we're gonna do this. And yeah, you can hide behind the environment, which is pretty cool. I like that they actually have the environmental portion of it uh, working functional. You can break the walls. I did not expect to be able to break the walls, but you can definitely break the walls. Um, yeah, so it's only three abilities. Pretty chill. In order to click or attack, you just click. Or in order to like stop attacking you just uh, right click if you have an ability like if you can hold it down and see your range and everything um, the amount of attacks you have is that bar right there so everyone typically has about three and it, they fill up at different rates depending on your uh, attack range so yeah these big things usually give you about three levels off the bat I have five HP left I just realized that thank you so since you only have four minutes, you, you pretty much have to know exactly what you're doing. If you mess around at all, you will d lose and die. Um, I just try to level up and then keep the other people dead. That's my strategy for this game mode because the other people go for the points typically. Because they all like going for the points. Yeah, see, I just, I just knocked them out myself. Even though someone else gets the kill. There's no assist points here whatsoever. So if you don't have, um, if you don't get the kill, you don't get the acclaim or any of the points. So, but I don't really care. I just care for the wins because... Uh, having more kills doesn't get you more trophies or anything. It just gets you uh, a leaderboard. Once you get the, if you get like triple kills or players or um, player of the game, you get some leaderboard uh, 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 accolades. And the more accolades you have, you can be like ranked in the whole nation with like the most amount of that accolade. So it's interesting. It's just not like I haven't found value in it unless you actually are gonna get something for the accolade. But we'll see what happens. Let's get pull up four more right here. Three, two, one, and boom. There we go. All right. See, I can't. Even, I don't even know where they are, but we're losing 100%. So we go and look at a star. 
and then have to actually um well, look at the star oh he dashed i did not know he could do that good for him but he still died uh, so we want, want to hold on to that star for as long as possible in order to win this match which we are halfway yep we have where is the star we need one more star okay there you go good sir thank you so if we get one more star we, we're gonna win the game 100 percent but they are trying to uh oh jeez. yeah you, you thought you thought you thought and we won just like that sometimes there's like last second uh like flips that actually are crazy mvp 32 points yeah that guy killed it i, I don't even i've never seen even seen that character until just now there's my 24 points um, I was actually ranked Recruit 1, and you can see because I claimed the points for being Recruit 1, it just, it didn't work out for me. Um, I lost a lot of points, like in one day, I dropped two ranks, it was crazy. So, definitely check out this game, definitely see the utility for you. Um, the NFTs you can buy and sell. So, just keep that in mind, check it out, and I'm going to go ahead and stop the recording.